Next up is Sarada Uchiha from the Naruto franchise. Honestly, up until recently, she wasn't even on the list. It wasn't until I reread the 73rd Naruto volume and watched the Boruto movie that I even considered her. She's the only offspring of Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruna. At first, I thought she was just gonna be a bland or one note character. My feelings started changing a bit near the end of chapter 700. Near the end of 700, it looks like she had a bit of a mischievous streak in her. I like the fact that while she has certain aspects of her parents as part of her personality, Sasuke's brooding and stubbornness and Sakura's temper and level-headedness, she is her own individual. She seems to get along well with other people, both kids and adults. She's respectful, however, she will speak her mind and if she has a problem, she's gonna take the initiative and try to solve the problem immediately. Now while she does share characteristics from both of her parents, her goal of becoming Hokage and the reason for it as well as her determination and will of fire most resembles Naruto's. She wants to become a Hokage in order to bring people together and in the case of her initial story she wants to finally meet her father and get her questions answered as well as holding him culpable for what he's done in the past and what he's gonna do about it in the future. If someone fails to live up to her expectations or make mistakes then she doesn't pussyfoot around and expects everyone to be held accountable whether it's her parents or even the Hokage. This unfortunately doesn't happen enough in Naruto when it comes to the female characters I feel. I mean Sakura tried to do it once and she wound up poisoning Naruto. Hanada was more successful however, whether it's slapping some sense into Naruto or becoming a stronger person. I'm not sure if I should count what happened to her and Naruto during the pain invasion story arc though, which brings up a positive and negative. I feel that Masashi Kishimoto did better development of this one character, Sarada, in 10 chapters than he did in 700 chapters of most of the females in the series. And yes, I'm including Sakura in that. I mean heck, a great way to describe Sarada is that she's Sakura written correctly. I can't say I'm surprised about that. In previous interviews, Kishimoto described Sakura as just a regular girl. It seemed other than creating a female character for Team 7, he didn't put in as much thought or care into her as an individual as he did with other characters like Hinata for example. It might have something to do with the fact that Sakura doesn't have a dark and sad backstory. It can't be coincidence that the most interesting characters in the series have a sad origin. On a completely unrelated note however, it is interesting that Kishimo has said that halfway through Naruto, he wanted Hanada to become the lead female, but due to Sakura's popularity in Japan, that didn't happen. With the new monthly Boruto series coming out, it'll be interesting to see how her character further develops. It looks like between her, Boruto, and Mitsuki, she's going to be the leader of the group. Power set wise, she seems to have the chakra control of her mother to perform superhuman feats, plus she has her father's fire nature so it'll be interesting on what type of skills she'll develop as the series goes on. I'll discuss more about her when I review her origin story in the Naruto Gaiden volume. 